Hi everyone and welcome back to another lighting series episode. In this episode we're taking a look at the reflection capture. Now if you've dragged in some materials or, uh, or actors into your world and you get sort of a black uh, sort of tint to all the material, that is because the reflection capture has not been set up. So these are designed, uh, designated sorry, to be shiny materials so they're meant to be reflective like metallic. However, the issue is, is there's no reflection data for it to reflect. Because we can't do proper reflections in games, to, unless you're doing ray tracing, um, we have to do a reflection capture to sort of fake it almost. So what we're going to need to do is place a reflection capture near these objects to make them show the reflections. So I'm going to go over to my place actors here and search for reflection actor. And you've got three options. Most of the time, you're using sphere reflection capture. This is the cheapest one to use, the best one to use, and generally, yeah, just use it. So I'm going to drag this out into the world, and immediately you can see the difference. Okay. Now, you can see here on the right-hand side, you've got influence radius. This is the radius that is captured by that reflection capture. You can see that giant sphere. It's using that sphere to decide what's inside that sphere is going to be reflected back into materials. So you can see that the chair is being reflected here because it's inside the sphere. Now if you've got multiple parts of your level and your level is quite large, you'll probably have several of these uh, plotted around the world to make it more realistic in the puddles and uh, shiny materials. Because there is a danger if you don't put enough in here or make it, uh, or unless you make it ray traced, um, the reflection won't match the world around it. So that's why we want to typically put more reflection captures near those objects, especially the key objects like that. So now we've got that in there. You can see here I've got the option, uh, the message here saying reflection captures need to be rebuilt. Okay, because these are built before the runtime, we want to make sure we recapture them. So go to build options and you'll see reflections and you'll see build reflection captures. Just click on that and that's it. It's done. Super quick, super simple and infinitely better. Okay, and you get nice shiny materials. And that's all there is really to it. Nice, quick and simple. If you like this video and you want to see more videos on lighting or any other videos in general really, head over to patreon.com forward slash Rylaley where a donation of just one dollar will get access to many of those videos before anyone else as well as a host of other benefits too for higher tiers such as project files, access to voting, as well as discord and one-to-one uh, -one help. Thank you to all my patrons for their continued support. If you haven't yet subscribed, subscribed to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you have any suggestions for uh, future content please leave a comment below I'm always eager to see what people want to make. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.